I'm Sarah from Craft Habit, and today I'm going to show you how to make these pennants. This project was inspired by a new fabric we have in stock, a panel print from Dashwood Studio called Our Planet. This panel has a ton of gorgeous illustrations that are perfect for small projects. So here we go. This project only requires two pieces of fabric, what I'm going to refer to as the pennant front and the pennant backing. In this case, our pennant front panel is nine inches wide by 11 inches long. And the first thing I'm gonna do is fold in, a double fold in a quarter inch hem. So fold in a quarter inch, press, fold a quarter inch again and press that down. We're making a very tiny hem at the bottom just to hide the raw edge in there. Now our panel backing is gonna be the same width as the pennant front, but it's gonna be twice as long. So our pennant backing in this case, the turquoise fabric, is nine inches wide by 22 inches long. That's a little bit longer than we actually need it to be, but you'll see why pretty soon. We're going to fold our pennant backing lengthwise and finger press a few inches towards the bottom edge. You can finger press like that, or you can take it over to your iron and press it with heat. Uh, you'll get a little bit of a crease. I'll admit that crease was made with an iron, but a finger, a finger press crease will do just as well. With your fabric folded lengthwise, we're going to stitch right along that bottom edge about a quarter inch in um, from the bottom, so about a quarter inch seam allowance. You can do a back stitch here, um, never hurts to. Then we're going to open that up into a triangle shape. And again, we're going to finger press open that seam. This is the place where having that ironed in or pressed in crease is helpful. When you line up your stitched seam to your crease, you know you're gonna have things pretty much right in the middle. So I'm gonna line that up, and now I'm gonna take my scissors and just snip right there where that fabric fold is. That's gonna help that seam uh, lie flatter. I'm also gonna come in and trim the little bits that extend beyond the triangle very carefully, um, just so I've got a nice sharp triangle edge there. So here you can see how that lines up nicely. Now we are going to flip that triangle right side out Use our chopstick to poke that corner nice and sharp. Um, now this is the wrong side of the pennant backing and this is the right side of the pennant backing. So grab your pennant front and we are going to line up that folded and pressed edge right to the corners of that triangle we just made. Now this point we're gonna make the casing. The casing is the folded over piece at the top that holds your dowel or string or whatever. To get a one inch casing, like in my koala sample, I need to have my pennant backing fabric be just two inches longer than the top edge of my pennant front. So here is actually five or six inches. I'm gonna slice it down to two inches and that will give me a one inch casing once I fold it over and sew it. You're welcome to make a larger casing, not cut off any fabric if you don't want to, um, but I'm gonna make this this way. So now this is a little weird. You're gonna flip your pennant backing wrong side up and put your pennant front right side down on top of that. We're gonna pin and stitch along that top edge. Um, I think I'm doing about a quarter inch seam allowance there. It's kind of really up to you. Um, if you're doing a panel print, you wanna sort of see where your, pan where your picture starts. So I'm gonna open my seam, finger press that again. And now the second to last sewing step, we're gonna turn that over. So again, we've got the wrong side of the backing facing up and the right side of the pennant front. You can see I've got it actually a little bit overhanging the corners of that triangle. Um, that's what you want, just a little tiny bit of overhang. I'm gonna pin along these sides. We're gonna sew up each side, but not all the way. We're not gonna sew over the casing at the top. So I'm gonna start sewing right there on that seam allowance between the pennant backing and the pennant front panel. And again, I'm gonna do about a quarter inch seam. So I'm starting not at the top, but I'm starting at the uh, seam there. I'm gonna go all the way down and do a little back stitch, and then I'll repeat on the other side. Once both sides are sewn down, I'm gonna trim my little strings, and now it is time to turn it right side out. So just gonna reach in there and turn it. It's fun to have a chopstick or a point turner here. You can help you get those corners out a little more. 
angular. So remember those corners at the very top are not sewn shut. Um, if your pointer goes through, that's fine. We'll be able to use the same tool to poke them back in later. Um, so you see we've got the opening there, and we're not gonna worry too much about that raw edge. Since this is just something that hangs up, it's not going to get too frayed. Um, I'm gonna give this a big press on the sewing machine, on the ironing board, and then we're gonna come back and do our last line of stitching to stitch down that bottom folded hem, and that is going to also catch that folded up part on the back. So I gave it a good press. It's all nice and neat in the position I want it to be. I'm going to stitch across the bottom and show you what that looks like. Uh, I think I'm using, I'm using a contrasting color right now. You could change your thread to do something that's gonna match, um, or you could just be lazy like me and use the same thread. So there's my stitching, and you can see it's very close to the bottom, and on the back, it has just caught the back edge of that little triangle pocket. So now we're ready to put in a dowel. Um, you could use a dowel, a stick, a, a long straw, whatever you want. You could put thread through there, um, and then you can make this in any size. Here's a little teeny baby one I made with another panel print. I hope this has given you some good ideas and inspiration, and we'll see you next time for another video. Happy sewing!